Good afternoon, everyone. How has everyone been? It's been a couple days since I last posted here, but I wanted to share with you I'm going to be starting a new guitar build. As you can see, the, uh, the figure that I'm making a guitar of is none other than Bart Bartholomew Simpson from The Simpsons. And uh, <laughs> it is in the drawing phase, so this is what I'm coming up with so far. I think the uh, the body is really good shape. I'm going to use this exact neck, not this neck. I borrowed this and I'm doing some uh, adjustments on the Devil Hands guitar. Just, you know, just quick adjustments. But I wanted to more or less get the neck. I ordered this exact neck, but I needed the neck to figure the spacing of everything. So I took it off that guitar. So anyway, just temporarily, I put it back in. But, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at so far. I'm trying to figure out an input. Um, I guess I'll do that when I cut the wood. And the uh, the volume knob, see the volume knob where it's at now. I don't want anybody to think it's like a you know, Bart's you know what, but it's in his stomach area. So hopefully people don't have those you know, dirty thoughts. But some people might. But you know it is what it is. You know it's it's a good spot for the volume knob, <laughs> right there more or less. Uh, <laughs> I could figure another spot. But this is the exact same kind of bridge. And as far as the pickup's concerned, I might go with a humbucker. Or, you know, I've been shopping online and they make a really hot single coil for $20. It's black and it would take up a smaller space. They do take, they do make chrome pickups, uh, single coils. But I'm going to try to get as hot as possible, like 15 ohms or better, K ohm resistance. So, but this is, <laughs> this is going to be basically what's going to be out and then i got to figure an input jack location because you know this is an exact i think i could go there i guess i'll have to put it cut the wood and see how it sits in, in lap to figure out where the volume's going to go and as far as the strap buttons are concerned i guess the strap button would be like right i don't know it's really kind of hard to guess on this one probably right there and then behind the neck of course the neck plate or somewhere you know we could figure all that out but yeah, it's in the drawing phase and it's pretty cool. And I'll do the paints. And I'm thinking about taking the Dremel tool and the edging, just a small, small channel for all the lines. Just a small channel, not the edge lines. And I'm thinking about doing the back to um, the flip side of this image. So I'll have to figure out the shirt, the hands, the pants, the shoes, all that stuff on the back side of it so it's it's going to be the flip side of this so i'll have to figure all that out and it'll probably be coming be coming from the the position from higher to lower so i'll figure all that out but the skin color is probably like that golden sunset you know the simpsons and he'll have a red shirt and i think the shoes are blue so and then black bits for the eyes but yeah just wanted to share with you that's going to be really killer can't wait to, to get to the cutting of the wood part, but I want to figure out the spacing. And I think this will work as far as the bridge is concerned and everything like that. And it's it's not too big and it's not too small. I think it's right in the center. It's like if you were to uh, figure a strat. Let me show you. I got a Stratocaster right here. A strat body uh, right next to it. You know, it might be a little bit smaller than a strat body, but nowhere near as small as like a... Uh, Randy Rhodes uh, R1 model or something like that so it's a good size I think and we'll see how it sits in the lap as far as you know so I'm gonna cut the wood and it's just wood I'm gonna do three layers of half inch so we're gonna do the top load bridge um, I'm not gonna do a pickup ring we're gonna do the inset in the body and see a humbucker might be fine too but I didn't want it taken away too much from the mouth area but like I said I'm gonna Dremel all the hard lines and I'll probably Dremel down the the mouth bit just to give it a somewhat of a 3d appearance and then paint all that and then like I said I'm not gonna do like the sides the sides in the back so like the shirts gonna be on the sides the color and then the back and the color and I'll have to figure out all the other bits so you know, like I'll have to draw the hand and everything of that I'll have to figure all that out but uh, anyway I'm gonna get to that point but all right, hope everybody's having a good day. This is going to be very cool. And I was also uh, working on the concept of the Donkey Kong electric guitar, but this inspired me to do the drawing of it today. So there you go. That's pretty cool. And I'll probably do the same thing with the headstock that I did on this one. 
I'll just put my logo there exact same way and not paint the headstock. But I could paint the color, same color as the skin tone, which is that yellow. But again, I don't want anybody thinking that's you know, something that's not. So anyway, so. All right, hope you're having a good day. And cowabunga, dude. Good afternoon, everybody. It is October 2nd, I do believe. Sunday, 2022. Time to continue work on the Bart Simpson electric car build. Got my uh, form, got my paper cut out, and I've got my three pieces of wood. We're gonna go with three half inch pieces, and I've selected pieces that were really good on the front, and in the back, and in the center. So I'm gonna temporarily fix these two, three pieces together with screws and a drill, and then we'll get to cut out the uh, the template cut it out and then we'll get ready the ultimate goal for today is just to cut out the uh the shape on the wood so all right we'll see you next day all right got my shape cut out <laughs> my template cut out uh, position on the wood where i like it the wood grain is favorable for what i need all right let me get some screws and temporarily fix this uh this body together these three pieces and i'll be right back looks pretty cool I got my three pieces temporarily fixed together with three screws. Now I'll lay on my template and then trace it out. And then we'll get the scroll saw going and we'll cut out the shape. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the shape traced out of the wood and it's looking pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I right, got the scroll saw queued up. All right, fingers crossed. We'll slowly and carefully start to cut out the shape. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the shape cut out. <laughs> uh, I love, I really love, I love doing this stuff. I, I really love making guitars. I mean, this is just, I did make this section just a little bit, like maybe a centimeter or two this way, so it more accommodate for the, uh, the volume knob, because it was a little tight to me, and now it's good and perfect. And I don't think it really changed from the look of it at all, but just wanted to show you. This will conclude today's progress on the Bart Simpson electric guitar build. Yeah, the cutting uh, went pretty good. Got a brand new blade though. That always helps. The, when I cut the last one, that Angel Plays one, that blade was dull and it was just bad. But I did find a brand new blade and it just cut like butter. So there you go. That's cool. Let me get my template. So we are good to go. This, like I said, this will be the last update today. I'm using daylight, so yeah, you can see like the uh, I added just a little lip there, just a little extra, just a little extra on the belly there, Mr. Simpson. That way we can accommodate better for the, uh, the volume now. But yeah, there we go. That is going to look really cool when it's painted. And I got to get the paint just right, the perfect. Like I said, I'll Dremel out the uh, the hard lines and then I'll paint accordingly. And then the mouth bit and the eye bits, I'll probably countersink, probably about that big, just to give it the tongue a pop, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. And it fits perfectly in the lap. Let me uh, let me get the phone over there, let me show you, I'll be right back. All right, let me see if I can show you this. Yeah, uh, maybe. But it sits like, uh, let's see if I can show you. It sits like right on your knee, and you know, I'll take the template out for a second. But uh, look at that! It sits like right in the knee, and it's it's perfect. It, it feels like good because this little oh, can't see this little thing like rests in your knee, like right in the pocket there. So I'm thinking the input jack is either going to be like right about here or somewhere over here, but I have to account for the strap button. And I don't want to get in the way of that. So I might even put the uh, input jack here. I don't know, we'll see. It could even be somewhere in the back. I could probably put the input jack way back here on the finger because I could always route it. That's not a problem at all. So just somewhere where it's out of the way, <laughs> that might be actually cool to plug it into his finger. Yeah, that might be actually a good idea. Yeah, I might do that. Plug it into his finger and then just route. I mean, to route it, it's no big deal and it's a fixed top load bridge. But let me switch around, I'll be right back. Yeah, at least in daylight, so I'm gonna try to be brief, but uh, 
yeah i think uh maybe we'll go with the input jack and just have it like instead of being a input plate just have one of those circle disc things i'm not sure yet though we'll see there's just so many ways we can we can do that it's just a matter of how it's best suited but okay so i hope everybody has a good night and cowabunga dude and bart simpson guitar is cut out the body so. All right, and we will see you tomorrow the next day and we'll continue work on this one we're waiting on parts and paint so when that comes we'll be able to continue with some of the other builds but for now we'll work on this one all right we'll see you in a little bit <laughs> uh yeah uh i just wanted to show you inside the house <laughs> it's so cool uh cowabunga dude okay everybody's having a good night see you tomorrow all right, got my shape cut out, <laughs> my template cut out. Uh, position on the wood where I like it. The wood grain is favorable for what I need. All right, let me get some screws and temporarily fix this uh, this body together, these three pieces, and I'll be right back. Looks pretty cool. All right, got my <laughs> three pieces temporarily fixed together with three screws. Now I'll lay on my template and then trace it out. And then we'll get the scroll saw going and we'll cut out the shape. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the shape traced out of the wood and it's looking pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. All right, got the scroll saw queued up. All right, fingers crossed. We'll slowly and carefully start to cut out the shape. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the shape cut out. <laughs> uh, I love, I really love I love doing this stuff. I, I really love making guitars. I mean, this is just... I did make this section just a little bit, like maybe a centimeter or two this way, so it more accommodate for the, uh, the volume knob, because it was a little tight to me, and now it's good and perfect. And I don't think it really changed from the look of it at all, but just wanted to show you. This will conclude today's progress on the Bart Simpson electric guitar build. Yeah, the cutting uh, went pretty good. Got a brand new blade though. That always helps. Uh, when I cut the last one, that Angel Plays one, that blade was dull and it was just bad. But I did find a brand new blade and it just cut like butter. So there you go. That's cool. Let me get my template. So we are good to go. This, like I said, this will be the last of it today. I'm losing daylight, so yeah, you can see like the uh, I added just a little lip there, just a little extra, just a little extra on the belly there, Mr. Simpson. That way we can accommodate better for the uh, the volume now. But yeah, there we go. That is gonna look really cool when it's painted. And I gotta get the paint just right, the perfect. Like I said, I'll Dremel out. The, uh, the hard lines and then I'll paint accordingly and then the mouth bit and the eye bits I'll probably countersink probably about that big just to give it the tongue a pop and yeah it's gonna be pretty cool and it fits perfectly in the lap let me uh let me get the phone over there let me show you I'll be right back all right let me see if I can show you this yeah. oh, maybe and it sits like a, let's see if I can show you. It sits like right on your knee. And yeah, I'll take the template out for a second. But uh, look at that. It sits like right in the knee. And it's it's perfect. It, it feels like good because this little, oh, can't see. This little thing like rests in your knee, like right in the pocket there. So I'm thinking the input jack is either going to be like right about here or somewhere over here, but I have to account for the strap button. And I don't want to get in the way of that. So I might even put the uh, input jack here. I don't know, we'll see. It could even be somewhere in the back. I could probably put the input jack way back here on the finger because I could always route it. That's not a problem at all. So just somewhere where it's out of the way, <laughs> that might be actually cool to plug it into his finger. Yeah, that might be actually a good idea. Yeah, I might do that plug it into his finger and then just route. I mean, to route it, it's no big deal and it's a fixed top load bridge. But let me switch around here back. Yeah, at least in daylight, so I'm gonna try to be brief. But uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe we'll go with the input jack and just have it like, instead of being a input plate, 
just have one of those circle disc things. I'm not sure yet though, we'll see. There's just so many ways we can we can do that. It's just a matter of how it's best suited. But okay. So I hope everybody has a good night. And Cowabunga Dude and Bart Simpson guitar is cut out the body. So, Alright, and we will see you tomorrow the next day and we'll continue work on this one. We're waiting on parts and paint, so when that comes we'll be able to continue with some of the other builds. But for now we'll work on this one. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you inside the house. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, cowabunga, dude. Okay, everybody's having a good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you inside the house. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, cowabunga, dude. Okay, everybody's having a good night. See you tomorrow. Hey, good afternoon. How's everybody doing? It is still October 8th, 2022. And it's a fine day here in Central Florida. Yeah, a little cloudy. Feels good. It's about 80 degrees, 70 degrees. Time to continue work on the Bart Simpson electric guitar. Okay. So we drew out, recall from before, we cut out the wood. And we uh, figured out where we want all the different parts. I got all different parts. So I guess first step we're going to do is cut out the neck pocket and then install the bridge and then maybe cut out for the pickup it's a single core pickup I'll show you uh, got some domestic duties to do today so we got about a couple hours to knock this out right now so let's get as far as we can get in a couple hours um, all right so uh, let me draw out exactly where I want the neck pocket on the body and then I got the uh, scroll saw out and then we'll cut it out and uh, I got the neck let me show you the neck beautiful same neck as the uh what neck was that for the uh duh, I'm, I'm mind blur the the one we just did not too long ago the uh oh devil horns hand guitar duh. <laughs> same thing you're gonna have the string trees here black logo it's gonna look pretty cool all right so let me draw it out on the body and we'll be right back all right, got three layers separated. I got the top two layers connected. I got my pocket drawn out with the pencil. And I got my uh, scroll saw up, and we're going to cut out the pocket. We'll be right back. All right, perfect cut out. Now I'm going to make a uh, template, or make a block that goes in the bridge underneath the little piece there. So let me cut that. I'll probably go two layers as usual with three layers of plywood. So we get two layers and we'll put that in there and we'll set the neck and see where we are. All right, let's see in a sec. All right, got my neck tendon cut perfectly. And it is, I did a string test. I did my uh, string test and we're right in the range. So let me go ahead and glue that tendon in. Then we're gonna install the neck on the body. And then if we do another string test and everything else, then we'll do it, we'll install the bridge. So we'll see you in a little bit, but it looks pretty cool. All right, see you in a second. All right, got the neck tendon glued in and it's looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the neck and see how the lines line up. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, got the neck installed and it is looking cool. Whew. All right, okay, next step is gonna put the bridge on and then see if uh, everything that I just did uh, worked out good. Yeah, it feels pretty good. It sits in the lap really nice. Let me show you that real quick. I'll be right back. All right, back again. Let's see if I can do this where it's sitting. Let's see if I can get the camera to angle correctly. Yeah. See how it sits in the lap? It's like perfect. And you can play and it sits perfectly. And I think if I get the, uh, once I get the strap buttons exactly correct, and it feels balanced, believe it or not. I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, being such a, but odd shape but see how it fits it fits like right, right in your lap pretty awesome because your your knee goes right in here and your other knee goes to that spot so and it feels it feels really good and the arm let's see if i can get that when you get the arm and you actually strum it you're strumming it right from here and it looks cool it's gonna it's gonna be cool i just gotta get the paint right and everything right but yeah see where it sets it's just amazing being such an odd shaped guitar, I mean, you'd figure that it wouldn't, but sometimes I get lucky that way. I see where it sits. Just awesome.
All right, so let me do a string test and I'll be right back. All right, my lines are perfectly awesome. So yeah, we're, we're dead in there. We are right in the ballpark, so that's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the bridge. Well, I got this uh, slowed it up and uh, yeah, we got a lot to do yet, but uh, I gotta go here in about a half hour or so, but we go ahead and install the bridge and uh, wish we had more time because we could even install some tuning keys and do full-on string tests this early on but now we'll wait a while but uh all right let me install the bridge i'll be right back all right got my marks uh made for the, the where i'm going to drill the holes i got my uh drill bit with a mark to go the proper depth i got my bridge and my screws and the theme i'm going to go with this guitar i've already decided i'm going to go with chrome hardware but with black screws so wherever i have chrome hardware which is most of the things i'm going to have black screws I'm going to have a black knob, so that's going to be cool. And the input jack is going to be chrome. It's going to have the black screws. And I think I'm going to put the input jack right there. I've kind of decided. I think that would be plenty of room. And then as far as strap buttons go, I'll put it on the back side of the body somewhere where it fits to where it hangs perfectly. But let me go ahead and install the bridge, and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and installed the bridge. <laughs> we are looking pretty good. I think we are running out of time though for now. I might come back to it later on this afternoon. It's about 3.30 right now, but I've got some stuff I gotta go do. So, but yeah, we got a lot done so far. I just installed the bridge and the, uh, the neck. So, just wanted to show you real quick. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go with the black and chrome theme like I had mentioned. So that'd be pretty cool. All right. So we'll see you in a little bit. And like he would say, I'm Bart Simpson, who the hell are you? So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, just another quick update. Uh, this is the, the pickup I'm gonna use. It's a really hot Wilkinson pickup, M series pickup. And it's like 15K ohms it's for a, the single, single, single coil, but it's a, you know, it's double coil. And it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. So and, and I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a uh, coil split comp, you know I'm gonna put a coil split vol volume knob so it's gonna be pop up it's gonna be the front coil down it's gonna be the full humbucker and it's gonna sound just as good as the hottest uh, passive pickup that you can get I mean it's 15k ohm so that's pretty awesome so all right just wanted to show you and I drew in running out of daylight and I got stuff I gotta do so. Might be the last uh, update for this guitar today, but yeah, pretty cool. Just got a little bit done, but trying to get it right, trying to mess anything up. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. I can't wait till it, when it's fully painted and the colors just pop. It's gonna, it's just gonna be awesome. So with the red, the yellow for the skin, and the blue, and then around the back too. So it's gonna be, and then white for the eyes, and then black. It's just gonna be amazing. So. All right, hope everybody's having a good day. And this wraps up the uh, progress for the uh, Bart Simpson guitar for today. And we will see you tomorrow. All right, take it easy. Good morning, everybody. It is October 9th, 2022. And it's early morning, and I decided I'm going to do a little work on the Bart Simpson's electric guitar. And uh, a couple of things. Um, I'm going to draw out where I want to place the, the pickup and pickup cavity. That pretty awesome dual rail single coil pickup well double coil but yeah and I've decided not to put the volume knob here I've talked to a couple people <laughs> and I kind of assumed this and I kind of was worried about this and I was always thinking that people would think that that was his genitals and I don't want this to be <laughs> you know any kind of dirtiness to this guitar this guitar is supposed to be really cool bart simpson not something perverse and just the way people are today they would think that you know the knob is his, his penis and i don't want that so i decided actually a cool touch and i was somebody had mentioned this in the comments uh on facebook i'm going to use the eyes actually as the the volume and the tone and i ordered some really skinny knobs because uh these eyes are kind of skinnier than a regular knob. A knob is a little bit fatter. And I thought it might take away. Let me get a knob out. Let me check. One sec. Alright, actually had a couple knobs. 
And I guess it's not too bad, I guess, per se. That's going to be a really cool touch, though. Especially when I Dremel out, you know, put a Dremel line in the paint. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. The standard size knob. It is a little bit bigger. Eh, just a hair bigger, fraction bigger. I thought it was a lot more big, a lot bigger than, um, yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's basically what I'm going to go for. And I guess that that's really cool. And the routing is going to be very simplistic. I'll probably connect the routes here. Um, and then, you know, access panel. And then I'm still going to do the coil split function with this one. So this one I'll pull out and push in. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. The knobs I did get are a lot skinnier. And I'm not sure how, how tall they're going to be. But we'll see when they come from Amazon. But yeah, that's going to be cool. So let me... Um, and there was also a comment uh, somebody had left that they thought this wouldn't be, that somehow the, the bridge wouldn't be, you know, the string tension would, would actually buckle the guitar body. And I don't agree with that. I mean, this is pretty thick, and I'll make sure that the pocket's really tight. So these three layers of wood are pretty good, and I think it'll be strong enough. But let me get the pick out, pick up out. And then draw where I want to place the pickup. But yeah, the looking at the eyes now, I guess that doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Yeah, do you think they're? I mean, I think that would work. And that's that that added a really cool touch. I was worried about the three Ds of it, but yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna work out pretty good. All right, let me uh, trace out where I want the pickup, and I'll be right back. All right, got the neck pocket dialed in. It is awesome. And I started doing a little bit of the carving. Just where the Dremel tool is going to go. I have to etch it out. So we're going to move the operation outside. And we're going to cut out for the pedometer hole. Um, we're going to drill through. And then we're going to get the wiring set for the input jack. And I'm seeing how I'm not going to put the volume here like I initially had planned. I'm going to go ahead and trim that that I initially added to it. So that'll be perfect. And then we're going to be sanding on the sides, you know, today and making the sides more perfect. And then we're going to draw out the uh, the back, how the back is going to be as far as uh, he's going to have a slingshot and then his pants and then the shirt and then his collar. And then I'm going to figure out the uh, access panel plate, but I'm going to actually spray paint that yellow, the same color as the skin. That way it blends in. So it'd be really cool. So we'll get that going, move everything outside, continue working on this. And at some point today, we're going to go ahead and take a break from this one and start sanding on the primer and then maybe do a round of gloss black on the Ninja Warrior 4 guitar, but we'll talk about that later. And here's my push pull pot as always. And that's going to be going in the left eye. And then just a standard pedometer is going to go on the right eye with the tone. So that's going to be really cool. So I can't wait to get that going. And, you know, the way I figure I'm going to route that right there. And it's all going to be routed. And then I'm going to route for the input jack underneath the bridge because the bridge is just top of it. But anyway, so let's move outside and go to the next step. All right, we are moved outside. The sun is out. Another beautiful day in Central Florida. It's about 60 degrees. It feels awesome. Yeah, we're in the Panhandle of Florida, so this time of year is just amazing. It's awesome. Leaves aren't really turning that much, though. Not yet, but eventually this big tree will be bare, and all the trees will fall off on the ground, and I'll probably rake them all up. So, anyway, so. All right, so the first step, I think we're going to drill out for the get the drill all three layers for the pedometers for the volume and the tone and then get the well I got everything attached to get the scroll saw back out and then cut that little bit and then we'll start the, and then I, then we'll separate the layers and then we'll cut for the pickup opening and then we'll start figuring the wiring all right well, let's see all right, we got the extra bit cut out, looking good. And then I drilled all the way through all three layers for the pedometer. All right, so now we'll separate the three layers and then attach the top two layers. And then we'll make some pilot holes and then we'll carefully cut out for the pickup. 
and we'll see you in a sec. Actually, before I get to the carving out for the pickup cavity, let me go ahead and combine the, the top layer to the middle layer. So we'll glue these together. Everybody done some sanding, so we'll glue the top to the middle and we'll be right back. successfully go through the top and the middle layer are glued together and it is looking good it's awesome <laughs> screw almost looks like a Bart's nose ring but anyway all right so I'm gonna get some I got my drill bit I'm gonna bore some pilot holes for the the uh, pickup cavity and then we'll get the scroll saw up here and we'll carve that out very carefully all right successful cut out for the pickup I got the pickup in the air <laughs> if you could see it I got the wire fished through all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, drill out for the ground in a spot that's not going to interfere with the wire from the pickup and then I'll flip it over and we'll start figuring out all the wiring because the input jack is going to be here so that's going to go in the same area so I guess that'll follow the route to the wiring so yeah we'll figure that out all right we'll see I just bought a whole bunch of brand new wires so we got plenty of wires and we're going to be able to color it the right colors can you believe it all right we'll see you in a little bit all right, figuring out the wiring, and it's pretty straightforward. Push pull pot here for the volume, regular pedometer for the tone, a pretty healthy channel because that's going to have to go, got to be four or five wires because that's got to have a ground and two other wires going to it, and back and forth between these two as far as grounding the pot. So there's probably got to be about five or six wires. Same thing with here, including the thicker. Uh, knob so that's got to be fairly deep and fairly thick that way we have no bunching up issues input jack is going to be perfect and i'm going to bend it right to shape so it's going to look awesome and that's going to be simply two wires so that doesn't have to be extremely thick but then i have to flip it over and then make a drill for the uh drill out for the gotta figure out let me see mark right here where I actually have the opening that way I can the bridge I can drill a ground for the bridge and I'll do that and I'll be right back. Alright successful drill out for the uh, ground for the bridge and as you can see the opening right there came out right to the perfect position and it won't get in the way for the other wiring so I got my Dremel tool out and now it starts time to a lot for all the wiring this can be a straightforward yeah we're gonna get a lot done today we might even get to the ugly phase and beyond wow that's cool all right <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit got the dremel tool out and time to route it out for the wiring all right we'll see you in a little bit all right quick update i was getting so into it <laughs> forgot the vlog uh input jacks installed looking pretty awesome and i think it's in a good spot because you figure you the cable even if it's a long one you got plenty of room here and I completed all the the wiring on the inside I'll tear it apart and I'll show you that but yeah and I marked accounted for the uh, the push pull pot will go there and it pops out just the right amount but I'm thinking I might want to countersink this uh, these because I'm gonna do two circular bits here in the back and I might want to countersink because I'm going to paint them the same color as, you know, Bart's uh, skin color. It would be yellow. So this one is not going to be a problem. The countersink on that one is going to be fairly easy. Cause, but this one, you could see it comes just a little, you know. I might actually do it metal and then paint the metal. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Because I'll, I'll cut out the piece of metal that I have. And I'll actually just paint the metal and that'll be fine and that'll you know, give it thinner and it'll get a little bit more stability and painting metal is easier than painting wood anyway because wood will suck up the paint so those two little bits will just be metal bits but I'll make them perfect circles um, and I'll like I said I'll paint them the same color as the body and I'll try to make them as flush as possible and I might even paint the screws too or, or yellow that way well I can paint them black it kind of goes with the theme but anyway, all right, so let me work on that, and I'll be right back. All right, actually, I've got these two pieces left over from the prior build. You recall the circular bits? So I'm going to use the metal bit here, and then I've got a three-ply. But I'm going to countersink it to the correct depth, and then install these, so it'll be perfect. 
And like I said, I'm going to spray paint these both the yellow same color so it'll blend in. And then I got to mark out where, the, like I said before, the neck, the shirt, the pants, and the feet bits go. So that way I can drum all that. All right, let me uh, work on this and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, got it traced out where I want them exactly. Now I get the X-Acto blade. I'll put a fresh blade on there, exacto knife, put a fresh blade, and then trim around here and then get my Dremel tool with the guard and I'll countersink these two parts and we'll be right back. All right, got them both countersunk and they're looking awesome. <laughs> yeah. And they're both flush with the body. And you know, this is thinner, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some screws and countersink some screws and go ahead and install it with the usual way. And I will see you shortly. There we go, I got them installed. And you know what I was actually thinking? Initially I was gonna make it look like this was his back. And I was gonna make it look like, you know, his back was this way. You know, I could actually take the template and make the exact, you know, do the mirror image of the what's on the back of the, uh, the front of the guitar. I could do this same image, but just facing the other direction. And actually, I could use these, uh, the pedometer openings, make like he's wearing a pair of sunglasses. You know what I mean? Have it like, uh, I don't know how that would work. <laughs> that would be actually pretty cool. Or I could just go through with the plan and just do it like that. But, uh, you know, it would, it, it would be cool to do, you know, the proportions are not the exact, you know, for the back, I always thought the proportions weren't the same. Because if you look at this image of Bart, he's coming from the top down, the 3D effect. And it does look a little silly from the other way, but I'll just stick with the original plan because... I had a, in the back of his pants, he has a slingshot that I was going to put in there. And I thought that was a cool touch. So yeah, I'll just stick with the plan and I'll just paint these flesh colors so they'll blend in. But I was thinking, you know, for a moment there, I was thinking I could just do the image of the same image, just flip the other way. But, you know, and have these as sunglasses. But I think it'll look cooler with the, the complete the whole effect. Even though it's not exactly 3D proportional to the way it should be. Because then there'd be like a circle with a, you know, you see like a top of his head from the back. And it'd just be a big old mess. So, but, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of make it as best as possible. All right, so I guess next step is make sure all the courtesy cuts are cut. And make sure the wiring is correct. And then I can go ahead and we can glue the, glue the body completely together. And that'd be pretty cool. So let me, uh, let me look at everything, make sure everything's good, and then we can start gluing. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I think we're good to go for glue phase. I wanted to show you all the routing, uh, pedometer input on both pieces, the input jack rather. Um, I made a nice wide channel because you figure there's going to be a ground coming from here. The pickup for the or the wire from the pickup is fairly big, and then two wires from here. So that's going to be it's you know fairly. Maybe I should go a little bit bigger on that channel, just, just in case. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think I will. Just, just, just maybe just a little bit deeper. That way, there's no issue. And then from the uh, push pull pot for the uh, volume, and then the uh, tone. So it's fairly simplistic. Boom, boom. And like I said, I uh, countersunk the uh, the both the access panel plates. So other than that, let me make this a little bit deeper and then sand both surfaces and then we'll be ready to glue them together. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are good to go for the glue phase. We'll put some glue on and glue these pieces together and I'll see you when it's over. All right, glue phase successful and complete and is looking awesome. And you know what, something did occur to me and it's too late to do the layers because the layers have already been all glued together so we're a solid body, but I was thinking, you know, I've done this on a previous build too, uh, like the Ghostbusters guitar. Seeing how the feet are in the back, wouldn't it be cool to have them countersunk? And same thing with the hand. And the hand being countersunk too, it does give a little bit better access to some of the higher frets. And it's you know, obviously too late to take apart the layers now. But what I can do, what I've done, I've got the X-Acto blade. And what I'll do with my Dremel tool 
is I'll go to a certain depth, like to a certain layer, probably take off two layers of the feet itself. That would be really cool. And I don't think the bridge comes out that far. So to actually come take off two layers of the feet on both sides and take off two layers on the hand as well. That would be cool because that would give the contour of the neck pocket, it would make it look cool. And I don't think it would take away from the stability because the stability is really, this wood is really sturdy with all of them glued together. So <laughs> I was going to go ahead and do a full on string test, but uh, let me knock this out. I bet I can knock this out fairly quickly and uh, see how this goes because I think that'd be really cool to have could even go three layers on the feet and two layers on the hand to have the hand just a little bit higher but let's see if i could do this let me get the dremel tool out and we'll see in a sec all right quick update on what i was just talking about i completely forgot that the input jack is here so i started working on that and taking off the material and then i forgot the input jack is here so i mean it, it can't yeah that's that's not going to be a good thing for the input jack so i'm going to glue these two pieces that i have luckily i didn't get too far with it and then i'll get some body filler and fill that in and like it never happened but yeah that's that's a shame and i was thinking maybe there's some way of but it would be like the round it's still i guess it still technically could be done um, and then I can do like just a round bit for the, jeez, ah, that would have been so cool. Um, just to go one layer or two, just to recess it like that and just see I could possibly, you know what I mean? Cause just, but yeah, the, I don't know, that might look kind of weird. Cause you know, you figure the input jack, it was perfectly centered right there yeah so that that's not gonna be that uh, i can't that's not gonna work damn too bad <laughs> that would have been cool though to have those little bits recessed i could still recess this bit theoretically and recess this one slightly um and i still might do that because i think that would just look so cool to have these two bits a little bit recessed maybe i'll go one layer same thing with this just Let's see, even the one layer would take off the centerness of the input jack, so damn. Okay. Hmm. That kind of sucks, but you know, it's these are custom made things, you know, you wing it. That would have been really cool, but yeah, I just would prefer to have the input jack. And I can't really move it because it's already, you know, we're already one body. So let me fix what I just did. Okay, I still think it's really cool effect, so. Got the input jack and see I'm gonna bore a little bit down in the bottom because we're still room see got one layer and that's that's cool and see I can leave it right there and I'll just do one layer of the plywood that way it has a recess there and then maybe two layers and then maybe three layers for the hand so that way it'll be yeah I think I'll do it like that that way it still has the cool touch of the yeah, I think I'll do that. And I, I think I mentioned before, I'm already going to recess this about a layer of the mouth. So that's cool. And I was going to recess the eye pupils, but seeing how they're not, it's not necessary now. So, yeah. So let me uh, work on this and fix what I did and then take off the top layer. That'd be cool. All right, we'll see in a little while. All right, the phone battery actually died and I uh, can keep kept working. And I made a lot of progress, and I just wanted to show you what I did. Wow, it's really coming along. Okay, we're gonna start. Okay, I fixed the input jack because uh, I seen when I transferred the videos, it didn't show the last video. I actually recorded a video explaining this, but um, yeah, I decided to go one layer down and recess that. Then I went two layers down on the other foot, and then two layers down the hand, and see how it gives it for the when the neck pocket. It's gonna look really cool. I recessed inside the mouth, which is cool. I didn't really recess the tongue. I'm gonna actually build the tongue up and try to texture it, make it more 3D when I add the wood filler part. And then I recessed the eyes just a little bit, but then I kept the pupils. So that way when the pedometers go on there, it's gonna be really cool. And I did all the lines with a certain Dremel bit. I used this one right here and I went to a certain depth. So it was like perfect. So as you can see, it's pretty awesome. I missed one. I think I missed one. Did I miss that one or is it just 
Let me see. Yeah, I actually missed one, so I gotta go back and finish that one there, but other than that, you can see how the I did all the rest of them, so. And I marked for on the side where the eye is. Okay, so next step is gonna be to do around the back side. Um, I got it drawn out on the computer the way I wanna, you know, do the same thing to the back, so that'll be the next step, but yeah. That is pretty cool. When I paint that, I'm gonna paint that in there, of course, black, the red tongue, uh, the red shirt, you know, the yellow for the skin, black for the pupils, um, and then blue for the shoes. So it's gonna look really cool. <laughs> and Bart Simpson, uh, The Simpsons is actually on in the house, so it's pretty funny. So yeah, just wanted to show you progress so far. Uh, and I'll do all the wood filler and I'll do all the body, uh, the bondo on the sides and make sure everything is perfect. And then I'll round the edges that need rounding. Because right now I didn't put any kind of Dremel on it or anything. And I'm just going to hand sand the roundness of the whole thing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you from a different angle how cool it looks. And, uh, you know, it's only about 1.30, so we're getting a lot done. If I finish the back and everything goes like that, we could even go for a full string test. And where I'll uh, put the tuning keys in the neck and then sell the bridge. And then see how we, we fare as far as that. I'm going to do the strap buttons too before that. So yeah. So we'll see how far we get. Um, I am get pretty tired. I started pretty early. I think I started at 4 a.m. this morning. But then I took a little bit of a nap and then came back to it. But yeah, let me touch up that part and then I'm going to go back in the house and then draw the back how the back is going to be. And you know, I was thinking too, it was really kind of cool. Uh, I planned on using uh, having a, you know, the pants and then him having a slingshot. And then the wood part of the slingshot, I'm actually going to leave the plywood. So you're gonna, I'm not gonna do any body fill or anything to it. So when I clear coat it, cause I plan on doing a 2K clear coat over the whole guitar after it's been painted and everything like that. So it'll make it all glossy. And you'll see all these imperfections in the wood and everything and how the wood looked as it was through everything else. So it's gonna be really cool that added effect that you're gonna be able to see the slingshot wood of the actual body of the guitar as rough as it is right there and everything and everything else is going to be you know done up perfect so all right so let me do that and we'll see. all right just another quick update i did the uh i fixed that what i did and it's the pedometer and looks it looks perfect in there i put it in there and i went down one level or one uh, layer and then two layers on here and then i just stuck with two layers and then i beveled out two layers and i'm thinking about beveling out like a half a layer really fine for the eyes and leaving the pupil that way when the pedometers go on it it gives it a totally different a really cool feel especially when it's painted so i might do that and then i'll go through and do the dremel tool and make all these lines more predominant just you know just my one bit that, let me show you, the sharp bit right there on the, to the left, or the second from the left on the end, and that way it'll give it a really deep, and then when we go to paint, when I go to paint it, I'll actually paint a thin black line in the crevices there, so, and then the eye all to white, yellow for the hand, skin in the face, blue for the all right, this is what I'm working with. I came up with the the back end, and of course, it's not a two perspective because you know the front is coming from the top down, so I had to do my best. But yeah, I think when it's painted, it's gonna look cool. And like I said, I'm gonna keep the wood grain color for the the actual slingshot itself, and then the rubber band and uh the rubber like maybe an orange color the only orange on the whole guitar will be that orange little bit and then white and then the wood grain and then white for the bottom of the soles of the shoes and then blue around the edges yellow yellow skin color yellow and then i'm going to paint the two pedometer covers yellow of course with black screws um so that'll be cool and then uh blue for the pants so that'll look pretty cool I think the, uh, yeah, the, the pants are blue. Maybe it's a different shade of blue than the blue for the shoes. 
but I'll figure that out. I've got, I could always mix it with a little bit of white or something like that, but yeah. All right, so let me uh, get a fresh X-Acto blade, trace this out, get this nice and good to go, and then we'll be ready for a string test. So let me start working on this. It's still early, it's not even two o'clock, so we got plenty of time. All right, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, <laughs> got the back completely dremeled. <laughs> it's awesome. Let me go for the white. Uh, blue for the pants like I said before yellow 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 and then red for the shirt and then I'm not gonna color this at all and then just you know like I mentioned that before but yeah look at that it's pretty cool all right it is time time to get the neck out and install the tuning keys and I guess we're ready for a full-on string test we can test this out and put some strings on here and see how everything lines up and see how it sounds intonate should be intonate intonate perfectly and uh, all right we'll see you when i get the neck out here i right, see you in a little bit all right we're ready to install the tuning keys so i'll go ahead and install the tuning keys here oh another thing i forgot to mention on the neck check this out this is gonna be cool i'm gonna spell out bart so i'm gonna put b a r t and maybe with an exploration point but in kind of bart's like you know like a handwritten and i'm gonna use black paint and i'm gonna paint it on there and it's gonna just say bart and then i'm gonna have black my my ah damn it stop with the low battery thing okay sorry the low battery again 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 always low battery on this phone so anyway uh do bart and then my logo in black and then i'm gonna use black string trees like the my favorite string trees but all right let me install the tuning keys and we'll be right back all right, I got the tuning keys installed. Now it's time to install the the neck back to the body. So let me do that, and we'll be right back. All right, got the neck installed and the bridge installed. And as usual, as always, I'm gonna install my favorite Dunlop sh strap buttons. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be here. I'm guessing here, and then in the back of the neck. That way, it's wide enough that it'll fit and feel comfortable on the body. Let's do that and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, strap buttons are installed. One there and then one right there. And let me go grab a strap and see if my calculations are correct. That is so cool. I love that that thought that had to do that. But anyway, let me get the strap up to the back. All right, got the straps installed. I just wanted to show you. Let's see. I can't really see because of the blare of the light, but there we go. Yep, it fits right there, right in your, right in the zone. No neck dive, perfect. So, all right, so next step is to get some strings on here. And then, uh, like a rubber dude, get some strings. This is for a screenshot. Screenshot. Anyway, <laughs> let me get some strings and I'll be right back. All right, got the strings installed. Got the strings on there, looking pretty good. But the next step is to install some string trees. So I'm gonna go with the stagger like I did before. I gotta look at my past example to see exactly where I put it. But I just wanted to show you what the strings on. It looks pretty awesome. And all my measurements lined up. Dead center. Woo! Yeah, love it when that happens. I think we're right in the intonation line. And I've used these strings before, so these aren't new strings anymore, but they're really cheap, so if they snap, it's no big deal. That's why I use them. <laughs> so, all right, let me uh, get the string trees out, and we'll be right back. All right, string trees have been installed. All right, let me uh, get all the strings to pitch. Uh, let me intonate. Let me uh, adjust the truss rod, and we will be right back, and we'll do a full sound test. Whew, I'm tired. I might leave this string up for tonight and just clean up my mess, and then... Uh, See how it holds all night long, so all right, let's we'll see in a little bit. All right, hold on one second. Let's see if I can get this camera situated. Got it, just a quick tune on it. Of course, I have to dial in the intonation and do some fret work, but a few little frets here and there, but.
my hands are completely dry as usual from from working with the uh, the wood all day. I'll do a better sound check inside when these strings have time to adjust and it's quieter so you can hear it. But yeah, successful. And we'll see how the neck uh, shifts. I'm sure it's going to shift a little bit. I got the action dialed in pretty good right now, but I'm sure it'll shift. And it was on the high end anyway, so that's good because it'll, it'll lower a little bit. But... Hands are just too dry to play. <laughs> Alright, we'll see inside a little bit. Alright, got my mess cleaned up. I am wore out. I think I've been at it about 12 hours today. Got a lot done though. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna let this settle and you know it's still still fairly in tune, so we're settling a little bit, but not you know nothing's really moving that dramatically. So uh, I'm going to let this settle for tonight. This will be the final update for today. I'm just wore out, tired. Maybe if I get cleaned up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to let this settle all night, like I said. And uh, But tomorrow we'll do a full sound test and demonstration of how it sounds and everything inside. So it'll be really awesome. So, And then we'll start working the body. We'll start doing the uh, Bondo wood filler on the sides or whatever. And the wood grain filler. I'm going to take my time and try to make this look awesome but uh all right hope everybody's having a good night and we will see you tomorrow i hope you had a good weekend monday start of a new week the bart simpson guitar is born all right we will see you soon good morning how's everybody doing that's fine monday morning it is october 10th 2022 and it's time to continue work on the bart simpson electric guitar build and I've got it fully intonated in tune and I wanted to show you how it sounds get a quick sound check on it I am gonna have to shift the bridge though I don't know how my measurements got so far off but I wanted to show you this this sometimes happens and the good thing about doing the string test prior to any paint or any body work is I can fix this if I would have had this all painted and everything like that to shift the bridge back I would leave holes and indentations and it would be a big old mess but seeing how we're not to that stage yet this is perfect so as you can see we are way too you like it like right in the center of the intonation line and i'm at the limits in the e a d and the g but the b and the e are still okay but the first four strings are just that's just not acceptable so and i did my measurements and for some reason i i uh installed the bridge a little bit far forward on the low e side and so i made my marks where i'm going to shift the bridge i'm going to shift it to this line there we go with the battery again first thing in the morning isn't that great okay so i'm going to shift this line here and then I'm going to shift this line here. So I'm going to make it just a little bit further this way and then back. And we should have plenty of room. Worst case result, I can always fill a little body filler here like you won't even be able to tell. So that, that's not a problem at all. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm probably going to do that anyway. I'm going to go ahead and put some body filler in there. And the screws get nowhere near that. So when they go way beyond the depth. So I just want to show you real quick what it sounds like now. Because it's fully intonated and everything like that. So let me show you. Let me turn the camera around. I'll be right back. Alright, let me just show you a quick sound demonstration. How this guitar sounds. Just natural, of course, acoustically. <laughs> it doesn't have any electronics. You might win a slightly out of tune since I tuned it, but...
It's a really good neck though. It's gonna need fret work, of course. There are a few highs and lows fret wise. My hand's still a little bit dry because uh, I don't want to put any kind of uh, lubricant, like I said before, on my fingers because I still got to do fret work and I want the tape to stick to the neck when I tape off the neck. So. Sounds pretty good though. Uh, bridge and the E, the the high E, the saddle's a little wonky. I'm gonna have to work that out. But in general, it sounds good. It didn't shift that much in the night, um, and I still got plenty of room up and down in the saddles, so we are good to go. So it's not gonna be a big deal to uh, reset the neck, just or reset the bridge. Just got to do the five screws, take the strings off, do the five screws, shift it back to where I want, make sure it's all lined up, and then account for the body filler just a little bit. Here, I may not. I will, we'll see. But overall, that'll be it. And then once I get that dialed in, and when I get bridge exactly where it should be, then I can start working on the body filler and start perfecting the body. So, there we go. Bart Simpson guitar. And we'll move everything outside and we'll start working on the bridge. And I'll probably just knock that out real quick because it's just simple as moving the, you know, taking the screws out, moving the bridge back, and then just reassembling the bridge. And I'll show you the end result when I get done. All right, so we'll see you in a little while. All right, another quick update. Actually, I did it inside and it wasn't, wasn't extremely bad, but I moved the bridge. As you can see, where the lines were, where the mark was, I shifted the, bitch, the bridge back. And now it's completely intonated and in tune, and see that's way better. So you got plenty of room to go back or forward for all the saddles, and that's way better than it was. If you remember the past video, how close it was to the edge. So yeah, so we are good. And it's in tune, and it sounds great, and everything's playing perfectly, so... Next step is start working on the body. So I'll disassemble the neck, take the neck all completely apart, and then start doing with the body filler. So we're gonna fill all these spots and we're gonna make this beautiful. So can't wait to get to that and to the paint. All right, we'll see you next step. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, got everything dismantled. Now it's time for some Bondo body filler. So I'm gonna put some body filler on the sides where it's necessary and in the front. You'll see in the front, he's got these on this plywood it's got these micro cracks throughout the front and the back i'll patch them and make it look pretty good and then we'll do a sand and then we'll start with the wood grain filler all right we'll see you in a little bit all right another quick update ugly face part one is in full effect and i got it pretty coated with some body filler as always trying to make it as perfect as possible so yeah this one might take a little bit longer to sand because there's some really awkward places to kind of get in there but yeah it's gonna be awesome it's gonna look amazing all right can't wait i'll let this cure for a while and i might go do another work on another guitar for a little while while this dries because it's going to require several hours of drying before i go to the ugly phase or no several hours of sanding actually i think it's going to be a couple hours sanding before i can get to the wood green filler stage but i'm gonna make it perfect all right we'll see you in a little while all right we're outside had plenty of time for the bondo body filler to harden and as you can see i layered up the sides pretty well but yeah it is very ugly right now but i'm gonna sand on it for a good while and make all this smooth and perfect so i've got a bunch of sandpaper 
and we'll start working on this. This is going to take quite a while, but I think the end result is just going to be amazing. And then when we finish with that, we'll get the wood grain filler and we'll start texturing and making it 3D. So it'll be pretty cool. All right, so let me work on this a little bit and I'll see you in a little while. Alrighty, update. It's been a few hours, but Ugly Phase Part 1 is complete. And I just wanted to show you really, this battery's low, so if it starts to... <laughs> Act up, I'll have to restart the video, but I just wanted to show you. Wow, it looks amazing. That looks so good. Ooh, that took a lot of work, I'll tell you what. Oh man, but it's gonna be so worth it though. Wow, look at that, that is just amazing. Oh wow, I am so just blown away how good this is. This guitar is starting to come together. I mean, from concept drawing, this is a complete concept. I mean, wow. It was just amazing. All right, next is gonna be the ugly phase part two, the wood grain filler phase. And uh, that is gonna make it even more perfect. Wow. I keep saying wow, but I'm just, I'm just in shock on I guess when you're working and you're, you're sanding, you're really not seeing the full picture. You're just, cause you know, it's just the, the passion of it, the, wow. All right, let me get a fresh batch. Let me put this phone on the charger first, but I'm gonna get a fresh batch of uh, wood filler and I'll have the charger right here. That way I can show every step of the way, but wow, that is just, it is just really coming together. I can't wait till this is to get some paint going. And I think I'm going to go with a yellow first and then tape off every, you know, do the yellow overall. And then when I get to the other colors, I'll tape it off, but we'll get to that. And, uh, wow. And I might just brush the, uh, the black and then the two black bits, but I'll spray paint all the rest. Wow. Okay. Let me get the charger. Let me get some fresh batch of wood grain filler. It's about two o'clock now, so I mean I've been at this for about three hours just sanding the uh, the body, the bondo. So, but wow, results just speak for themselves. Okay, and we'll see you in a little bit. Wow, that just look at that. That's just so cool. And I try to distinguish between the the colors, like you know this is going to be red and this is going to be yellow. So I put a definite line in there. But okay, all right, it's coming together, and we'll see you in a little bit. I just mixed me up a somewhat thinner batch of the wood grain filler. As always, I always use the plastic wood and I cut it with water. It's water-based product. And I got both my fan brushes and I'm going to start applying light coats. And the point is to make it kind of 3D-ish with the wood filler. So you'll see what I mean. So let me start applying some coats and I'll see you. I'll start on the back. I think I'm going to start on the front on this one because I really <laughs> love this the way the shape has turned out so all right and let me get a few coats and we'll see in a little bit all right another quick update um first few layers of wood filler have been applied and as you can see i'm trying to layer um put some layers to texturize and 3d the face of course um this is just the beginning i'll keep doing it until i'm satisfied um, but as you can see there's certain spots that I've raised. Um, and I still might uh, do a little bit on the teeth, kind of like a bubble. I think I'm gonna do that next, just kind of a bubble effect. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's really coming together. It's really starting to look really killer. Try to get out of the light so you can get the gist of what I'm going for. Yeah, the light out here is a little, a little rough, but uh, yeah, and I'll sand certain parts. I'm gonna sand you know certain sections to but I like the texture that's forming uh, definitely on the sides the sides are definitely going to be completely smooth because those don't need the texture but yeah so you can see what I'm kind of going for it's looking pretty good and as it dries it'll shrink a little bit in certain spots and I'll have to keep adding layers but uh but overall I'm happy with the uh the progress I mean let's see if I can uh show you this uh yeah I can lift it up as long as I don't touch the little spots that I've contoured and see where and it's definitely the ugly phase this is going to be sanded uh, smooth as far as the sides in certain spots 
And you know, all the sides, of course, are gonna be really smooth. But see, I just wanted to show you how I'm trying to use the wood filler as a texture tool. Yeah, and I'll definitely do the teeth because I think the teeth look kind of bare like the way they are now. And I'll make them kind of bubbly towards the center, so. All right, just wanted to show you where we're at as far as the wood grain filler. And it's, uh, it's coming along, so. All right, we'll see you in a little while. All right, this will conclude progress for today. I'm gonna let this dry and see where we stand as far as everything's concerned. But yeah, the textures, uh, yeah, like I said, when it dries, it's gonna shrink a little bit, but it still looks pretty awesome. But this is definitely the ugly phase. But like I said, the size, you know, I already said all that, and the size is gonna sand smooth and but always, but yeah, just wanted to show you. And I didn't do the back yet, of course. But man, I'm tired, Whew. but it's looking awesome. And I like that it's all one, pretty much one uniform color, and that's just kind of a preview of what's going to be like. When the colors are on there, oh my god, it's just going to be so awesome. I can't wait to put some, the first coats of, uh, well first I'm going to do the two-in-one primer to seal all the wood grain in, the wood filler uh, in, and then, well, a long ways from that, and then the colors, I'll probably go with the yellow first. So I'll hit the, uh, the head, the hand, and the other hand, the, you know, the head and the hands. I'll hit that with yellow. And then once that completely dries, I'll tape that up and then I'll probably do the red second. And then once that dries, then I'll touch up the, uh, you know, the white and everything like that. But anyway, so I hope everybody's having a good day. Got the, glad we got the bridge sorted. So I was thinking about that all night, you know, kind of like in my head. So, and then all the, the crevices, like the, you know, the, I'm going to try to a thin line of black. So all that's going to look back, you know, cartoonish, even on the sides. I'm going to try to get, just take my time. But yeah, all right. And we will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning. How's everybody doing on this? Uh, what is today? Today is October 11th, 2022. And it's time to sand and make beautiful the Barbara Simpson electric guitar. Just wanted to show you the, I completed all the, body filler yesterday and it's looking pretty cool I made a couple additions I'm gonna make the the pants blue the back of the shoes white and the front of the shoes blue so it'll be a blue bit there a blue bit there and then I marked out and I'm gonna try to make a, a you know a dremel or not a dremel but a line definite distinct line so the cross between so, all right, so <clears throat> start sanding, making this beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, as you recall, I'm going to leave that with me. It's pretty cool, cool touch. But uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to get working on this and we'll see when it makes some progress. All right, it's a couple hours later. Who uh, ugly phase has passed. We <laughs> are done with the sanding. And it is looking amazing as always. This step has always been my favorite step because you turn the rough raw body into more of a finished work. Yeah, pretty awesome. And see, I added the uh, the back side for the white for the feet, and then the pants in the back line. That way, I know. And then I'll put a circle on the left side of his left foot when. Uh, and I go to paint the white. And the pants are blue and the shoes are blue. So they'll both be the same color blue I looked it up today. <laughs> All right, that is looking awesome. All right, next step is to put it on a hanger for some primer coats. And of course we've got our go-to two-in-one Krylon primer. And, but what I'm first gonna do is tape off these three little sections the wood grain because that's going to stay wood grain so I, I don't want the primer to go on that so we're going to mask them off and then cut around it and then it'll be cool then we're going to put it on a hanger and then we're going to spray some primer coats but the Bart Simpson electric guitar is born again <laughs> very cool 
I like how they texture bits with the eyebrows and the nose and little wrinkles here and there. And I like the texture of the shirt. I specifically tried not to. But on the back, I went ahead and uh, tried to make everything as smooth as possible. This is going to be the back, so. But all the sides. It's taking a long time to get to this point as far as sanding goes, but yeah. I like the texture on the tongue. And then I can't wait to get some paint on here. It's going to look really awesome. All right, so let me tape off the uh, the back section parts and then we'll put on a hanger and we'll get some primer on here. And that's one step closer to color. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I love that, the, uh, the 3D aspect of it. And I did get those other knobs from Amazon yesterday and they're real tiny, but I still might use them. I mean, they're, they're itty bitty. But if they work, that would be, that would be killer too, so. I mean, they're like that, but I'll show you. All right, we'll see in a sec. Oh, and see, I uh, got the points really good. There's just so many things that I did at like the points. I spent a lot of time, but all right, see you in a little bit. All right, I got the, uh, the slingshot taped off that I want to stay wood. And now we're going to put it on a hanger and blow it off real good, and we'll go with some two-in-one primer coats. All right, let's see in a bit. All right, we are on the hanger. <laughs> it's the perfect round. We are ready for some two-in-one primer coats. All right, we put a couple coats on there. I'm gonna see a little bit. All right, a can of two-in-one <laughs> primer has been applied, and it looks amazing. Uh, I, I do. I stand by that product. If uh, Cry, anybody from Krylon Representatives, if you're watching this, uh, please endorse me. I love your product. This product. Yeah, it turned out awesome. Let me show you. <laughs> I can't wait for the color to hit it. Oh man, it's gonna pop so much. I'm gonna spend as much time as it takes to get that right. So. And then I'll decide I'm going to go a 2K clear coat over all the paint. So that'll give it a real fine gloss. Now it's a little dark on this side. Let me see if I can turn it around. Right, look at the back real quick. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And I still got it taped up. There's tape underneath there with the, the wood bits. And no rush to take that off because uh, it's just a wood underneath. And it's not like a matter if it bleeds or anything. And it's not going to like pull away or anything. So, all right. So, I guess I'll leave this on the hanger for a couple days, few days. Then I'll sand it and then we'll get out some. And if the primer looks good and I'm satisfied with all the different bits, then we'll go with some yellow. We'll go with some yellow on the hands and I don't want to tape anything off of the yellow I'll just not over spray it just hit just try to hit the yellow spots because it's you know I'll tape up when I go to the red because the red will be next and then the blue and then the white will be last and I'll probably hand brush the white so and that'll be like the backs of the shoes and the eyeballs there and then the red for the tongue and the teeth I'll do all that last and then well actually the black so. all right Hope everybody's having a great day. There we go. Yeah. Get it. Part Susan. And when this dries and I sand it and it'll fill any imperfections as far as any of the wood grain that's coming through. So and see how I did the eyeball. I did a little section for the eyeball too. But yeah. Alright. And we will see you the next step. And I'll see you in a couple days with this guitar. All right, I'll see you then. Good afternoon, everybody. October 12th, 2022. As always, beautiful, semi-cloudy day out here. But it feels pretty good in Central Florida. And it's time to continue work on the Bart Simpson electric guitar. And we're going to do some sanding. And can you guess what else? <laughs> All right, so... Let me do some sanding here, get it perfect, and then I'm going to try to get some flesh color on the hand and the head bits. Alright, let's see a little bit. Alright.
right, we are sanded and we are ready for some yellow base coats. Uh, it's going to look awesome. All right, and we will see you when we put some yellow, a couple of light coats. And I got my uh, got my yellow, I got some spare cans. Hopefully there's enough in here. I can always go buy some. So, all right, we'll see you a little bit. All right, just want to get you. <laughs> I, uh, I used up all the paint I have and I decided that I think sunrise yellow I had a couple of different three different shades and the one I think is closest to what I believe is the correct yellow color is the sunrise yellow so I'll have to look, wait for this to you know I'm gonna go several layers of course but wait for this to cure probably about four or five days and then sand on a little bit because there's a few spots here and there need a little sanding and then go with another round of and then I'll, I'll get the uh, but before that I'll go try to find some locally the uh, sorry locally the uh, sunrise yellow color and do the bits that the spray paint can't hit and that way like you know like in the crevices because I mean you try to hit that with spray paint and around the corner up here you know there's no way of getting spray paint in there so but uh try to find it locally if not I'll order it online but yeah I think uh sunrise yellow this right here Russellium sunrise yellow is the ticket so and then uh, after that cures and then once we get all that squared away and then sorted then we'll definitely have to tape up for the red and the rest of the colors. So yeah, that'll be cool. Well, so, all right. So I just wanted to show you a little color on the bar. It, de it definitely brings it to life. I mean, when the eyes are white, of course, and the black pupils, I mean, it's, but I love the texturing. You see the texturing that's forming? And like I said, I plan on putting 2K clear coat over the whole thing. So it's gonna be very shiny the whole, whole guitar is going to be shiny but yeah and then there'll be uniform colors because we need more paint but uh <laughs> that's cool all right hope everybody's having a good day biker rumba eat my shorts all that good stuff and we will see you see you next time hey i want to give a quick uh update on the bart simpson electric guitar build i did do a second coat of the yellow color yesterday and I think it turned out really well. <laughs> and it definitely thickened it up and gave it the thickness I need. And I like the textured eyebrows. There's been a couple comments by a few people that said that looked a little, you know, off or whatever. But to me, I like it. I like the texture of it. I think it's very cool. And after all, <laughs> I'm the one building the guitar. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you again. Turned out really cool. This was yesterday, like I said. And I got all the nooks and I got all the places that the spray paint, or, you know, spraying the spray paint wouldn't get in with a brush. So, yep, we'll let this cure for several, few more days and then we'll go tape it off. And hopefully it doesn't peel off when I tape it off. And then we'll start with the red color for this shirt and everything like that. So, let me do this very careful. All right. And that's, and I think today I'll probably cut the wood for the Lisa Simpson guitar, <laughs> as you see the paperwork back there. If you follow this page, you've seen me post on that. So, and I just finished the paint for the, uh, the second black base coats for the uh, Ninja Warrior number, number four guitar, the diamond plate. And it's looking pretty decent. So there's no drips forming, so we're good to go. We'll let that cure and harden. All right, and good news, I got the parts for the final, got the neck for the Angel Plays guitar, and I got the, the bridge on this way and all the rest of the parts on this way, so we'll be starting that one very soon. Within the next couple days, we'll continue on that one, and it's so cool. And on that side, it's going to be Pearl Mist, Rust-Oleum Pearl Mist color, and it's going to be a metallic color, so it's going to have a, a little bit of a reflective quality about it, and that's going to be very cool. So, all right, and we will see everybody soon. All right, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, October 17, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Bart Simpson electric guitar, and we're going to do the fretwork. Um, 
First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the fret ends, make sure those are really good, then we'll tape it off. Uh, usual stuff, I've, like I've always say, uh, I've done the fret, you know, fret work on video so many times, and uh, if you wanna see, just uh, search fret work on my Facebook page. But I'll just go over briefly, step by step. And we're gonna do the logo about there. And then they're gonna do something really cool on this one. I was thinking about, you know, finding a good font and then spray painting Bart. You know, doing a Bart on the fretboard in the uh, black, in flat black actually. Same thing with the logo, we're gonna do flat black this time. So I think it's gonna look really killer, but all right. First step is to get my fret end file and address all the frets, make them nice and round and feel real good on the sides. And we'll see when that's done. All right, the fret ends are feeling awesome. And then I went ahead and used my straight edge and got the neck straight as an arrow. So I'm gonna tape it off and we're gonna put a crown on them. All right, we'll see you in a all right, got the frets taped off and marked, and I'm gonna get a fresh 320 grit on my leveling beam, and we're gonna level the frets. We'll see in a little bit. All right, got all the frets leveled to each other. It looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna remark the fret, and then we're gonna put a crown on it using my Z Mac Z file or Stu Mac Z file Z Mac. <laughs> all right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got a crown on all the frets. Now we're gonna take the sandpaper and we're gonna go through the grits and we're gonna put a round edge on them and we're gonna polish them up really nice there to see them. All right, another update. Whew, it's been a while since my last update, but all the frets have been leveled, polished, crowned and polished, and we are looking awesome. Yeah. Whew. That looks good. All right, next step is going to be to get out the Cricut machine and work on the headstock logo and actually I'm going to do the part so let's get the cry cricket uh, I want to call it cry cut it's spelled cry cut to me I mean cricket it's a stretch but you know how I feel about that if you watch my videos so let me get out the uh, cricket machine and we'll start that process and we'll see in a little bit all right, all right got the cry cut cricket machine out and I'm trying to figure out a font or the to put on the fretboard and I was trying to find something like you know something that he would write like like the character would write like Bart um, I'm not really too sure let me see if I I'm not really sold on this font this font's too perfect looking but let's see what kind of uh, text that the actual cry cut cricket program has and I'll be right back all right, I'm kind of working. I kind of like this one. This one kind of looks pretty cool, and I think that might actually work. Let's let's print one out and see what we got. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, I think I got <laughs> fun. I think and I'm gonna go with uh, fingers crossed that it works out well. I can always take it off with some uh, paint thinner, but I'm gonna try. That's the font that I came up with, and it's at the end part. <laughs> Hopefully this works the way I anticipate. So I'm gonna get some flat black paint and spray away and fingers crossed. We'll see if it turns out like I hope. <laughs> we'll see. All right, it's sprayed on pretty good. Uh, <laughs> letting it harden just a little bit and we're gonna peel off all the tape and we're gonna see if it turned out like I hope. All right, we'll see in a bit. That's pretty cool. All right, it worked out perfect. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. That is pretty neat. And I'll wait for this to dry for a while and then I'll do my logo, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I might touch up the black a little bit with the uh, a paint pan a little bit accentuate you know accentuate this that or the other but yeah it turned out pretty cool yeah. all right <laughs> it's kind of like what I had in mind I'm not sure if I was thinking maybe an expiration point maybe like Bart with an expiration point you know because that's just his attitude but I don't know I might just go with that <laughs> pretty cool though all right and we'll see a little bit. Alright, got the logo taped off. <laughs> it's pretty cool. 
and uh, expiration point I actually added. So I'm gonna go gin gingerly spray this. Hopefully the spray doesn't go around the back or anything else. But all right, fingers crossed. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, the spray went very well. Paint went right where I needed it to go. All right, fingers crossed. This turns out good. I'm shaking a little bit. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it went very well. Expiration point. Uh, I actually was hand drawn like that, so that's pretty cool, and it turned out pretty good. And the logo is awesome. Yeah. So we are successful logo and inlay, <laughs> and we are. That is awesome. I think that that accents it so much. I think it's gonna look so cool when finally get the paint done on the body. But yeah, there we go. All right, this concludes today's progress. Got to clean up my mess, of course. I made a big mess <laughs> on the Bart Simpson electric guitar build. That looks pretty killer. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> All right, good evening, everybody. It's still Sunday, October 23rd, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Bart Simpson's electric guitar. If you recall earlier, we finished uh, spraying the primer on the Angel Plays guitar. Uh, I want to do the other colors. Initially, I was going to tape off the yellow um, and then spray each color one at a time. But I've concluded that taping it off would be kind of difficult and I don't know if it would really be that conducive. So I've decided I'm going to brush on the other colors. And I'm gonna go 2K clear coat over it anyway, so it's gonna level out any perfections the brushing technique might incur. But I think it would be just better this way, because then I could do multiple layers and then hang it as I go. And I can finish all the colors tonight, actually. So, all right. I don't know if this is wise or not, but it's the route that I think is gonna be the best. But like I said, after the 2K clear coat goes on, it's going to, you know, make everything kind of... And the brush look might actually look kind of cool, so... And it's already textured anyway. So I got me some recycling. Um, this is the red color that I'm using for the red. It's the Troy Built Red. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get me some in my container, my paint container. And I've got some brand new brushes that I bought. So, and then we'll start working on that. And I'll catch up with you when I get some layers on there. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, got me some red sprayed in. And we got a bunch, so start applying some red to the body. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, just a quick update on the Bart Simpson electric guitar build. Got the first layers of paint on the red, the black, the blue, and the white. And I'm going to do black probably in the cracks too. Um, well, it all depends. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but this is just the first layer. I'm going to let this cure and dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll add another layer. And then I'll let that cure. <laughs> and then I'll add another layer. <laughs> and then I'll let that cure. And I'll keep doing that until I get a solid coat of the other colors. Because yellow is already there, of course. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Um, and then once that cures completely, and I get that dialed in perfectly, which I'll just take my time and make sure that everything is good to go, then I'll put some 2K clear coat over the top of everything and make it super high gloss. So, all right, this concludes today's uh, update on the Bart Simpson electric guitar build. It looks pretty cool with the colors. But like I said, it's just the first coat, so gonna let this cure it's gonna take probably about five six coats of each color to really stand out the way I want it to all right everybody have a good night we'll talk to you soon good afternoon everybody it's still October 30th 2022 and it is time to assemble the Bart Simpson electric guitar all right got my body I just wanted to show you how well the paint turned out I got all my parts got my tools Got the doggies here anxiously waiting myself. Just wanted to show you how the base coats of paint finally did turn out. I think there was like four or five layers of the red, blue, black, and white. But yeah. 
turned out pretty awesome. <laughs> Just wanted to show you real quick. All right, hands are caught. We'll see in a little. We'll see in a sec. All right, I see my fingers got caught in the hanger, and I needed both my hands to free my hand. So, all right. So first step, as always, is going to be the install the uh, ground wire for the bridge, and then we're going to ready to install the bridge. So, let me install the ground wire and then run it through, and I'll see you on that stuff. So, see you in a bit. Wire put through and pull through. I'm gonna leave all the wires out because all the wires gonna have to be channeled to the socket there for the volume. For the we're gonna use remember the push pull for the left for the volume for the left uh, port. So um, let me go ahead and install the bridge over to that, and we'll be right back. All right, see you soon. All right, installed the bridge and it's looking pretty awesome. Alright, I guess the next step is going to be to install the input jack. And as you recall, it's the circular one. So let me go ahead and wire that up and solder everything I need to solder on that. And I'll be right back. Alright, got the wires soldered to the input jack. And I made me a little sheet there. And seeing as how we've got colors available, and instead of being confused when all the wires are up front, this way I know exactly what everything is and I wrote down what everything is. So. There we go. All right, let me install this and then feed the wires through, and then we'll move on to the next step. I'll be right back. All right, got the input jack installed, and then I got the wire, the two wires fed all the way up through into the first pedometer. All right, so now it's time to get the pickup situation, and then feed the uh, ground wire through to the socket there. So let me get that squared away. Get the pickup out figure out how I'm going to attach it to I'm probably going to do two light screws with some springs but we'll be right back all right this is going to be tricky AF all right so <laughs> so what the plan is okay I've got a string fed through fed through the pedometer hole and as you can see a string I'm holding in my hand and it's attached to you know just the other end of the string so I've already got the input jack fed through as you recall earlier on the earlier video clip there so what I'm gonna have to do there's the pickup with the springs and the screws I'm using so what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna try to figure out how to get those screws to stay there I might put a touch of CA glue and then I'm gonna have to turn the pick over and then I'm gonna have to connect all the wires to the string or to the the string you know the guitar string that's fed through along with the ground wire and then pull both those wires through to the pedometer. So fingers crossed, let me work on this off camera and I'll catch up with you when I figure out and I get some progress on this going. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Fingers crossed, it's gonna be very tricky, but I think it can be done very easily. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, solution I came up with, I very, very delicately, <laughs> I took the screws out, of course, and then I applied the CA glue underneath the springs and I'm hoping to permanently attach the springs to the bottom of the pickup. And we're going to let this fully cure and set up and, and then we'll see how it goes. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, just another quick update. I was successfully able to pull the wires through. Got the wires pulled through. But ran across a little bit of a, a wrinkle, which is not a big deal. I kind of anticipated this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull. See what the problem is, is the pickup is in there and it looks awesome, but it's a little too low. Uh, the springs don't go high enough and the screws aren't long enough to really kind of push it to the level that I need to pick up to be able to, to get close enough to the strings to really sound really awesome. So I saved the cutout from the uh, pickup opening and I'm gonna sliver off a little corner on each side just enough to catch the spring and then I'll glue that underneath in the bottom there and I'll probably have to paint it too which uh, no nah, maybe not no nah, I won't have to paint it it's far it's underneath you won't be able to see it so so I'm gonna sliver off each side glue that in there and then I'd rather I was rather wanting to you know screw into a piece of wood than the actual back wood of the guitar so let me get that working and we'll see in a little bit I got my two little nibs, my little piece of wood. <laughs> I'm gonna stick that in there. 
And fingers crossed this works the way I hope it will. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, complete success. Exactly the way I wanted it to go. Wow, okay. All right, now the tricky part. Now the, uh, <laughs> the wiring. So let me flip the guitar over and we start the wiring process and clean up my mess a little bit. And we'll see you in a second. Got my wires pulled through. I got my push pull volume pot. I got my tone knob with uh, my capacitor already attached. And I got my soldering iron ready. And this is the uh, right here is what I'm going to use for my diagram a volume and a tone input passive using the push pull pot. All right, so. Fingers crossed, we'll see you in a little bit when I start working a little bit on this and get some of this done. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, it's been a little while later. I got everything pulled through, both the uh, volume and the tone push-pull for the tone, uh, volume, rather. And I got it all wired and pushed in. And we're time to do a full-on sound test. Alright, uh, let me get situated and I'll be right back. Alright, got everything situated. Ready, we got the... <laughs> hot let's we'll see if I can do it with one hand I think I can with this one because I got something to grab onto there we go we are inside we are input jacks put in volume is all the way off tone is all the way on all right so let's give it a test okay let me grab my glasses so I can see okay so now what should happen and the way this wiring was a little confusing it didn't really state what the ground was but i just kind of guessed and i think i got it right so all right so we're fully plugged in volume's all the way off so we shouldn't get anything which we don't get anything okay and it's all we push down put the volume all the way up all right we got full on sounds good both coils the top and the bottom coil and we'll pull it out and split so we just should get on the top and not the bottom which is that's what's going on because you can tell when you when you scrape it you get no scrape you get scrape bottom no scrape at all but it's getting artifact from the front so now I push the uh, the coil split down and now we get on both perfect all right let's see the tone see if the tone changes oh yeah see how it's like muddy and then we got full on tone and really bright all right successful uh sound test all right let me put the knobs on i'll be right back <laughs> all right install the, the volume and the tone knob and it completes the look at <laughs> Just amazing. Oh, <laughs> so awesome. Oh, wow, that is so killer. Jeez. Alright, that is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, yeah. Push pull. Coil split. Alright. Let me go hang this up on the hanger, clean up my mess, and then we'll get the neck out and start working on the neck. Oh, actually, let me flip it over, and we're going to install the uh, back access panel plates real quick, and we'll do that now. See you in a second. All right, we're going to install the back access panel plates, and I did paint them, like, last week, so we are good to go. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, so let me get these installed, and I'm going to use chrome screws, because I'm using black screws for the chrome back plate so it'll kind of go with the theme with the chrome black chrome black so all right, let me install these two and we'll be right back okay. i am so loving it i got the back cover plates installed all right i'm gonna put this back on the rack and then clean up my mess and then get ready uh for the neck and install the good stuff on the neck but yeah it turned out really well that is so cool i'm glad i decided not to go with the 2k clear coat because initially I was going to do the paint and then do 2K over everything. But I think the 2K would have taken, taken away from the texture. And there was also the possibility that it could have reacted with the yellow somehow. And then it would have just been a mess. So, yeah, I'm glad I didn't do that. 
and you can see a little bit of texture in the red, but that's just fine. So, all right, it's looking pretty awesome. We go hang this up, and we'll be right back. All right, got the neck on the hanger. Looks pretty good. Or the body on the hanger looks pretty good. They got the neck out, and I'm gonna install the tuning keys, and then the uh, string trees, and then we'll get ready to attach it to the body. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the tuning keys and the string trees installed. It looks very good. And I cleaned up the non-essentials. And it's time to get the body out. And we're going to put these two together and see how we go. All right, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, it is that time. It's time to get the neck and the body together. I don't necessarily foresee any difficulty with this, but never know. All right, fingers crossed. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, we have successfully joined the neck to the body. And I've discovered something. Uh, I don't know where the imp the uh, strap button is for the back end. I don't recall where or if I put one. I definitely put one on the back of the neck plate because there's a hole and I drilled for it and, you know, everything like that. But maybe when I was doing the finish work, I actually covered up the hole accidentally. Which is not a problem. I just want you know, normally I do that step before the paint because it's a guessing game and I just don't want neck dives. So I'll have to look back on the videos and see if I did have it on the strap. I'm pretty sure I did at one point, so I might have covered up the hole. I could just tap it and drill it. It's not a problem. So, but yeah, I just discovered that there's not another hole for the back. And I'm thinking it was somewhere over here because I remember thinking that maybe I didn't want to interfere with the strap so i'll have to check a look i might have filled it in but all right so let me get some strings on here and then we'll see in a little bit all right, i got the two e strings on and we are dead in the center so let's go all right let me put the rest of the strings on and we'll see in a bit all right got it all together and assembled and it sounds awesome just a, did a general setup i had a, i got to cut you know adjust the the nut slots and get dialed in perfectly but i intonated sounds awesome that pickup is just it's hot it's really just awesome so all right so let me uh put this on the rack and let it you know everything uh, settle in and see where it does and then tomorrow i'll set it up really proper and dial everything in perfectly and figure out the uh <laughs> The strap button situation i'll have to go online like i said and figure out i think i remember having it somewhere over here the uh strap button but maybe i just filled it in when i was doing you know the body work and everything but in general i am really happy the way it turned out it looks really killer yeah i would prefer to probably put a little 2k over the red and the blue parts but i mean for right now it's great i didn't want to risk uh you know because the yellow parts turned out really like, perfect and i didn't want to risk that so all right so hope everybody's having the end of the weekend monday morning starting tomorrow and uh i'm gonna show you the back again yeah turned out really cool pretty awesome so all right this will do it for today on the bart simpson electric guitar build <laughs> it's cool wow awesome all right hope everybody has like i said rest of your weekend hope everybody has a rest of your weekend is good like a rumba dude eat my shorts all that good stuff and we will see everybody tomorrow all right see you soon all right just another quick update i installed the strip buttons last update for tonight uh yeah i was thinking about it and uh I was surprised that, you know, I was thinking that I didn't do the strap buttons, but I went through the past videos on Facebook and sure enough, I did. I did the strap buttons because I knew I did that one for sure. But I, when I went to go do the body filler, I actually filled this one in, but just re drilled it and everything like that. So we're good to go. Yeah. And it hangs proper and everything. So glad i got the videos from the past and i can kind of go back and reflect but all right so hope everybody's having a good night we'll see you tomorrow
Good morning, everybody. It is November 1st, 2022. Wow, where has the time gone? I don't know, this whole year is the, kind of a big blur to me, but I figured I'd show you, do a sound test on the Bart Simpson electric guitar. If you see my previous post, I did a full photo shoot and up close and personal video of this awesome guitar. I figure I do a sound one take practice on morning practice video as always. <laughs> I dialed it in, I got all the nuts cut, the nut slots cut perfectly, and and the pickup sounds awesome, and I figure part of my morning practice routine, I do Metallica Kill 'Em All play through from start to finish including the bonus track so it's going to be a long video so let's go ahead and get going on this and play some uh, give you some sounds get the uh, the sound get the balances right <laughs>
that pickup sounds so killer. For being a quad rail, like a dual rail with a single space. Wow. Of course, I'm going to skip through the bass solo. Could play the bass solo along with it, but go right to the next song. compact feel of it, it kind of feels like almost like a, uh, a Jackson Flying V, the shape of the, the body here. It's awesome. The guitar, it feels like a Stratocaster, because it is a Stratocaster neck, so. I think I'm going to do a few more guitars with this same exact neck.
little bit of no remorse.
all of that, and I, th I think it stayed pretty much in tune, but we'll see you on this next song. <laughs> play these songs on 1.25 in practice.
pretty good actually. It's just the first full album test that I've done on this guitar since I put it together, as you remember, yesterday, being it's the first of November. It's, it's, it's holding stability is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not moving at all as far as the neck pocket or anything like that. Everything seems to be really good. And as you can see, I'm not being really ginger and light on them. Playing it, but do a little bit of Am I Evil? Whiplash, actually.
more song to go. We've got a little bit of... Let's carry. got to hear James burp anyway thank you for following this video I know it's a long one but successful uh, battle <laughs> actually successful test on the Bart Simpson guitar it's no worse for wear didn't put any dings on it nothing changed and it remarkably stayed in tune I mean I, I can't believe how well it uh, is all that abuse I was putting on it And it's awesome, nothing moved. Oops, something moved there. But anyway, thank you for following. And thank you for following this build. This will probably conclude the uploads on this particular guitar, but stay tuned. I've got so much more planned. The Bart Simpson electric guitar is now completed. And stay tuned for the Lisa Simpson guitar. I'll be building that pretty soon too, so be ordering all the parts for that here soon. And if you ever have any kind of ideas, just leave them in the comments. And we will see everybody soon. Take it easy.